if you're gonna go out and play like a tournament round, you mm-hmm. know, um, or go play like a competitive round where you really want to, what's your like ritual from like when you get to the golf course to like first tee? Yeah, so I like to hit balls at the range first mm-hmm. and then putt after that. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a bad habit of like hitting too many. Okay. All right. Um, where it's like I start getting too worked up and if anything the more and more i hit my tempo starts to get fast so when i'm at the range as well i'm a big like listen to music Mm -hmm. um person just because like being a music person it helps me like kind of stay relaxed but i also have a different playlist that's just songs and that like 70 to 80 bpm because that's where i try to keep like my swing and focus in on that tempo you got your own bpm and just kind of get them in my head that it's like okay this is the swing speed because if anything I stop playing bad. It's because I start getting too quick, yeah, and just backing off and going back to that helps. So I, again, listening to that music and locking into that tempo, um, and usually I I got that playlist that's like just it's like forty five minutes of songs at that that range. Interesting. So okay. it's enough that I can go from the range, ideally hitting like twenty to twenty five balls. Not what's like your go to song. Many. On that, uh, I don't. know. I can like pull. Oh, I'll post yeah. the, the, I didn't know, but you had a specific it's, one, dude. It's like. Dream On's on there, but it also has like Jar of Hearts because they're the similar tempo. <laughs> they're just songs that I like don't hate, you're li- <laughs> but they're at that swing tempo. What's that one? Uh, this bone, man is bone at a driving range. This song as well. At, this man's at the range. Listen, listening to Alanis Morissette. I mean, who does that? Is it who's Jar of Hearts? That's oh, Sarah Bareilles. Your job of Golf tempo warm up. That's what my post. Is that is f- Boston by August Augustana. Dream on. Jar of Hearts. K- Christina Perry. Skinny oh, love. Right. Can't fight this feeling. Never gonna give you up. One love by Bob Marley. Stop. You have never gonna give. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. But you're in your stroke. Never gonna give you up by the no no the Black Keys. Oh, I thought yeah, you yeah. Meant no, no, no 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 no. <laughs> But all these songs are the same. No, that may, I mean that tempo. makes sense. It's just it's hilarious. I'm like, oh my god, he must be listening to like Victor Hovland, you know, Norwegian death metal, no, no, no. and you're just collecting those jar of hearts. That's it amazing. just helps lock into that tempo, and yeah. then taking that to the range, and then putting. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's but, great. I'm so happy I asked that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Putting, I try to do like find a straight putt first and kind of back up three feet, five feet, 10 feet type of thing. And then just, you know, a couple left to right breakers, cup right to left, really feel the speed. And then if anything, I think the thing I do the most of pre round is like just different chips yep. and bump and runs from yeah, just off I the practice screen. Right. Um, Cause that's where you save the strokes. Oh, for sure. You know, if I get it on the green, <clears throat> I'm I'm not going to make a 30, 40 foot putt most of the time, but as no. long as I can put it close, it's, and yeah. I think that kind of changes the course too. When, when we're at Winoa and it's like, I play there all the time. I, mm-hmm. I know the speeds of the greens. I know where the breaks are. So it's more of like, let's make sure the, the short game, the, those chips are, are feeling better. Right. Um, yeah. What, what's your go-to when you get there? Um, I mean, get there. Um, you know, I would, uh, it's so funny. I love um, just getting there, stretching a little bit. Um, that's like a big thing for me, especially like being an ex-pitcher, like, you know, just trying to be flexible, especially with golf. Um, but, yeah, I try to do like five to ten swings with each club that I know I'm going to use and then maybe like three or f- like three to five with clubs that I'm not going to use that much just to get the feel for them. Um, it's a little unorthodox, but, you know, whatever. If I know that I'm hitting, I try to work on the same tempo, though. What I try to do is try to isolate each part of my body that I know I'm going to utilize, like legs, hips, your ass, your core. Just try to, like, utilize each one of those on each shot. Mm -hmm. And so I take a little bit more time in there, but really focus on the tempo of it. Um, I don't really care too much about distance. I'm looking more for, like, impact and ball flight, just making sure that it's there. Um, But then putting, yeah, I try to do... Um, I try to work on the green or try to work on like the, I try to go more for the angled putts. I try to work on that more and my straightaway ones, just kind of working on the same impact, like momentum that I have just so, so it's consistent throughout. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, and then I try to, 
I, I do love a good black and mild before before the round starts. I think that that always helps. I bring one in the cart with me, at least the last year. Um, that always helps. And then, yeah, I don't know. Try to have at least. Um, my goal always is like at least one birdie mm-hmm. on the front, one birdie in the back, and I'm happy. But yeah, I don't know. At least pre 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 shot there, I try to get. I want to get there at least forty five minutes. Really, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. try to do, so I can <clears throat> just get ready and go. And then I just don't. Yeah. I don't try not to think about anything else while I'm playing. Like that's why we always are talking about dumb shit or yeah, anything that's not related to golf. <laughs> what was I saw it the other day? Uh, kind of. It was the the Tiger foreplay video where he was kind of talking about how like Joey Lacava like a lot of it is like Joey's this guy because he knows how to talk to him and keep his mind off other things. Yeah, talking sports. They're talking like he's a big Rangers fan, so he's talking about yeah, um, you know, hockey. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about anything else yeah. that is not related to golf because you know yeah the foreplay thing. Tiger's talking about how he could have a really really bad shot and he's gonna be pissed about it the whole time. And his caddy's like, dude, you fucking see the tits on that girl back on, like, hole four? And they're like, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> like, yeah. obviously not that, but. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.